Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Scorpio. Welcome, Scorpio. Hope you're doing well. All right, interesting. All right, so this is a general reading. I'm not tuning into one person's specific energies. I'm tuning into the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So Scorpio, in the past, you were in the energy of third eye chakra. So third eye chakra is here, behind the eyes, between the ears. This energetic chakra center deals with clarity, seeing things accurately. So something in the past you saw clearly. Okay. Feels like in the past you were connected with someone a bit immature. Someone who's was very focused on money. Someone, this energy is so slow. This energy just does not move. A uh, snail's pace. Your energy feels much quicker. Um, yeah, it just uh, feels like this energy can't make up their mind. And that's part of why they're at a standstill. They have a lot of potential and might even be somewhat successful of a person. But um, they're very guarded. So it's hard to get any type of emotions out of them. They're very focused on how they appear to others. And um, this person became connected with someone who was um, emotionally needy emotionally manipulative someone who really doesn't care about um uh, who lacks empathy so you something about whoever you were connected with that that person um could be an earth sign doesn't have to be someone that you were connected with who that slow energy we call that slow person S created a connection with someone who if they feel brutal because they they lack empathy feels like you you recognize there is something changing about the slow connection the slow person maybe they they kind of started taking on the qualities of um whoever this person who lacks empathy lacks emotional emotionality which fits i mean the 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 person who's slow is very guarded and doesn't feel comfortable in their emotions and so but can but it doesn't feel like they were void of empathy until they start connecting with this energy and you saw this maybe you intuited this maybe because it's third eye chakra um you might not have seen seen this but on some level there's a big shift in the person you were connected with and it 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 feels like um you got the brunt of this connection uh it feels like they did you dirty they were mean to you um it feels like you had to create some boundaries because of how uh vicious this duo could be um it's just battle weary you um to protect yourself against um 
this team, this very toxic team. Wow. All right. So in present energy, Scorpio, you are in the energy of temptation in reverse. This is the, the devil card in reverse. So feels like you're detaching from this connection. Detaching. Yeah, it feels like you're detaching from um, this couple. Yeah, again, um, four of pentacles in reverse. There's a, a letting go. Detaching, not hanging on, not clinging. Maybe you had some type of financial connection with this person who was good at business, good at, at creating wealth, but so slow, slow to change, slow to make decisions, slow. Their energy is just incredibly slow. And so it detaching feels like you're detaching. You might be, um, working through and processing the grief of this. Really, pro and um, wherever you are in this process, if, if this reading is resonating and if this is your reading, um, this feels like a difficult place. This, this emotionally, um, it was so hurtful, how painful and hurtful they were it was above and beyond. It was unnecessary. That's what I'm getting. It's unnecessary. It didn't have to be this brutal. That definitely helped you detach. But there's this grieving, like, I, what the heck? I mean, I don't feel, Scorpio, that you would do the same. And so it's very confusing. And it looks like it's hard for you to see what um, because you are processing a lot of grief and emotions that it's hard for you to focus on what you do have. You might be seeing all connections, kind of making some blanket statements like all men are, all women are, mm. You know, um, so watch out for that because it's um, it's really creating disempowering beliefs in your space. Yeah, it's it's left you feeling um, very unempowered, exhausted. Mm. All right, so in the center of your reading, your higher self is in the energy of two of wands in reverse, the waiting game. Time's up. So I, I like this image of two of wands, like going around in circles, not really getting anywhere. I think that's an accurate um, depiction of being in a stuck energy, in a stuck cycle that repeats. Feels like um, this type of energy being stuck in unhappy situations has happened, but there's something, it's in reverse. So the waiting game's over. You're, you finish this cycle. Hmm. There might be an apology coming. The apology um, brings balance. I don't know. I feel like you're really resistant to, I can feel my blood starting to boil. <laughs> like, um, but something is 
your higher self is saying something has shifted an apology is coming to bring balance so you can move forward i feel like you don't need the apology to move forward you don't need something from outside of you but something about this apology it doesn't feel like it's going to be that satisfying honestly it feels like it's going to be a little immature and a, little, a lot late Boy, you just feel the resistance to um even allowing any of this energy this couple this um slow energy back into your space it feels like whatever healing you've done wherever you are on this healing journey there's this worry that allowing this energy back in your space will um set you back again your higher self is saying you you've got the choice you can make whatever decision and choice you want. There's a lot of options here. But make the make the option that is instead of punishing or inflicting, you know, kind of joining this person's energy, what decision do you want to make that's long term? who you want to become that's a match for who, where you're going and and who you want to be i feel like you already have gone inside and found your answers um and so it it's time to come out of come out of isolation and do, does that make sense? There's somehow, it feels like you've been defensive. It feels like this, this apology, this balancing out, it helps you move on or, or actually it feels like you already move on. And that's when the apology comes. When you move on, when you stop, when you get out of the cycle, then your vibration raises and an apology comes in. It helps balance the scale. How you react to that is up to you with the advice that you choose wisely and choose um, a response that's where that's not just impulsive and reactive, but where you want to get it doesn't mean that you have to be nice i'm not saying that i'm saying just choose um it could be a very strong and bold answer or response but um there's just something here i feel like that's all i'm really getting i hope you get that so all right your challenge right now is seven of pentacles patience and planning there's some something that you've been working on that it feels like so you planted seeds and your challenge is is to wait for those seeds to mature to harvest your challenge is to wait for the the wheel of fortune to turn to heal from this situation, to raise your vibration so the universe has got your back. If you try to respond from an unhealed space where your vibration is really low, it, it feels like you stay in, in this energy. You um, don't give yourself the opportunity to transcend, to learn from this and move on into a different space, a higher vibration. Wow. All right, this feels 
like you've been through a lot, but it feels like a transformative, feels like, um, it feels like this happened this year, most for most of you. I'm curious if that's true or not for those watching, still, still tuning in. So, all right, let me know how um, this resonates with some story in your life. Um, if it does, then I would appreciate a like and subscribe so you can get more readings. So, all right, take care. Thanks, Pisces. Or, oh, thanks, Scorpio.